From Detroit to the nations, you are listening to the world's number one Christian station, Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. Hi, I'm Apostle Sharice Lewis. My show, Kingdom Vision, is coming up next. Welcome to Kingdom Vision Radio Broadcast. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened as we share Kingdom Vision and revelation from the Word of God. Good afternoon to all our radio listeners on today. We are excited. Of course, we want to welcome you to Kingdom Vision Radio Broadcast. And of course, my name is Apostle Sharice Lewis. I am excited on today. I just want to give thanks and praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And we thank him for dying on the cross that we might have a right to eternal life. That's right. God is so good on today and every day, even when we don't feel him, he's there. He said, Lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. So I just thank God on today. I also want to thank all our radio listeners from Worldwide Prophetic Kingdom Ministries and our intercessors who are on the prayer wall even now and those who have paved the way. As we were traveling here on today, I can feel the presence of God in the atmosphere in this radio broadcast. And I thank God for his presence in the atmosphere, in the building. And we are excited on today for Worship Center Radio, a platform of champions that God has called us to be a part of something unique and outstanding. And I want to say to you, you can too can be a part of it if you sow a seed, amen. Perhaps God has given you something to plant, amen, and you want to plant as we go out into the nations. And even on today, I want to thank God for those in Israel who are listening on today and those who are in 40 nations who are listening on today and some even may be watch, watching us on today and of course those in America and I want to send love to California a man who listens on a regular basis and even of course those in Michigan I thank God for you to continue to support this radio broadcast ministry and we want to begin with prayer of course father in the name of Jesus we thank you on today. We honor you. We glorify. We magnify your holy name. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord God, for the resurrection anointing on today. We thank you, Lord God, for clarity in the realm of the spirit and the natural. We thank you for actuating the promises of God from the heavens, oh God, bringing them to the earth realm. We thank you for open heaven on today. We give you the honor and the glory. We thank you, Lord God, for doors of wealth being open and Lord God wealth being transferred to your people on today we thank you for witty inventions and new ideas we thank you for prophetic strategies to shut down the gates of hell and every demonic spirit that will try to block stop or hinder us from moving forward in the things that God has ordained for our lives we thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost we place divine parameters around us to cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ on today and we give you the honor and the praise and the glory we thank you for your healing virtue that's permeating throughout this broadcast on today where there's sickness where there's pain where there's disease we bind it up we shut it down we tear it down and we thank you for releasing your healing virtue the glory of the Lord shall permeate throughout the broadcast on today and somebody shall receive a documented miracle we rebuke the spirit of pain right 
right now in the body. And we thank you, Lord God, for a praise report during this hour, Lord God, of your healing virtue being released. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. And Lord, even those who are in court on today, we ask that you, Lord God, give them favor on today and documentation with paperwork going through on today. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the glory zone, the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I need you to call somebody. Call a neighbor. Call a friend. Call a relative, a co-worker. Text them. Let them know that we're on the air right now. That's www.kingdomvision.info. Amen. And God want to bless us on today. And we are excited. I feel the passion of God, the fire of the Holy Ghost moving right now in the name of Jesus. And I am excited. So with that being said, let's move into our lesson on today. Uh, I want you to go, if those of you who have your Bibles, Bibles, or even at a later time, amen, if you're at work right now, or perhaps you're on the road right now, I want you to take note of Matthew. And I want to pick up where we were yesterday in our Kingdom Vision Bible class, because all all this year, this these two weeks, God's been dealing with me about structure, building structure for kingdom ministries, building structure for kingdom ministry. And so we understand when we're building something, when we're building something, it means to, to put a plan in place, to have order. It means to create or develop, to create or develop. And, and you know, we can build the way we want, but right now I'm talking about building the way God wants us to build. And that means being in righteous alignment with the will of God for our lives. And so the scripture tells us, according to Matthew chapter 6, and the Bible says in verse 16, and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ. Well, we can start at verse 15. The Bible declares, He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Amen. And I said also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and no gates in hell shall, shall not, the gates in hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That's right. So I want to establish here, be, in order for us to build anything, amen, and even when we're talking about building a stronger relationship, building structure in our spiritual walk with God, building structure in our finances, in our families, in understanding that God has a protocol for everything that he has set out for us to do. He has a protocol. In other words, he has a way, a method of operation that will yield a great harvest and will yield the promise that he has ordained for our lives. But a lot of us as Christian, we, we don't understand uh, that it's imperative that we prioritize and that we set a course, we set a structure in order for God to move. Because the Bible said he does everything decently and in order. So God doesn't move in chaos. He doesn't move in chaos. He's talking to his people about order. In, in other words, we need to set a, a proper way. Amen. It's not doing things haphazardly, but there is a plan. And, 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 and in order for us to be successful, we need to seek God. Amen. To find out what is his mind concerning a specific matter. Amen. What is it that he desires that we do? That will cause us to yield and wax great in a particular area in our life. How do you know that when you're not in alignment with God, if there's no harvest, if there's, if there's no productivity, there's no progress, there's no growth, 
development or creativity in a specific area. If there's no happiness in a specific area, if you're in the same place you was in uh, last year as you are this year, then you know somewhere uh, something is wrong. Because God is a God of progression. He's a God of growth. He's a God of increase. Amen. And so it's important as breakthrough believers that we understand that we carry a breaker's anointing to break through any dimension, any resistance that the enemy has set up. But we have to walk in alignment with God's will, God's way, and God's word. And so I want to talk about that a little bit more because so many of God's people, we're missing the mark because we don't have a plan. If you, if you play, fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so God wants us to have a plan. And with that being said, he wants us to seek his heart and his mind for specific direction. Now, we're in the beginning of the year. So this is a season of new beginnings. And when we talk about new beginnings, that means it's a fresh new start that is here now that you can start over, that you can begin again, that there's an anointing on starting over. There's an anointing. There's empowerment. There's wisdom. There's as knowledge that God is releasing to cause us to start over. When we talk about the anointing, it's the supernatural power of God that will cause us to supersede, amen, what we're doing in the natural realm to tap into the heart and mind of God where he sets his approval on whatever we're doing. So now is the time to start. Ready, set, go. That's right. Ready, set, go. So as a breakthrough believer, then you should have a desire to want to walk in God's will and to do things in a spirit of excellence so you can yield efficiency and effectiveness in your life, not just in one specific area in your life. See, because we don't want to be a public success and a private failure. In other words, to, to uh, move in, in, in the Holy Ghost and, and to know how to do church. Amen. That's okay. But what about kingdom? Kingdom is when you're living the life, walking the walk, walking the walk, and talking the talk on a daily basis. Where your children see the same you that when you go to church, when you interact with people outside of the home, that you are the same person. Amen. That you're representing God as his image bearer in every area of your life. And I feel the presence of God here today because some of you are listening you know you have attitude problems. You know that things are not right in your finances. You know that there are certain areas that you still haven't applied God's word to. So you, you have, you're have operating in deception. There's corruption. There's, there are things that, that are not in alignment with God's word in specific areas in your life. But what the Holy Ghost is saying today, you need structure. That God want to bring structure so you can yield a harvest and see God move in every area of your life. I'm talking to the breakthrough believers on today. So, so as a breakthrough believers, God will send us ahead to be pioneers. Amen. To usher in a new move of his glory. See, God is bringing in a new move, but in order for that new move to come in, he has to have structure. We have to be people of character. We have to walk the walk, talk the talk, and live the life. In other words, when you're not a vessel of character, everything that's connected to you is at risk. That's right. You are you are taking a chance on losing when you don't have character because you you won't make the right decisions at the right time. And we cannot afford to miss God. We cannot afford to make mistakes at this time in our lives. We are in a new season, a new time in our life, and God is expecting more from His people as we have entered into 2016. The Lord said in. 2016, he's manifesting dreams. Well, guess what? There's a causal aspect to your prophecy uh, before your prophecy can come to pass. The causal aspect is that that's what is required of you to do to bring to pass what God has promised you. Amen. Some of you just believe that, okay, I can live any kind of way and God is going to do what he said. But don't you know, in a causal aspect of the prophecy, that means you bear a burden. You bear a responsibility. It's something you have to do in order to bring it to pass. In other words, there are some of you 
you listening, you say you want a new job, but you you won't put in an application. There are some of you, you say you want to have your own business, but you have no, no business acumen. There's no knowledge of business. You haven't moved in any direction that God can trust you in a specific area. I'm talking to somebody today. I'm talking about building structure. And see, this is a part of building structure that if you want to progress, if you want to, to receive the promises of God, if you don't have knowledge in a specific area, then you, you get knowledge or you hire somebody who can give you the knowledge that you need to get the work done. Amen. I don't hear nobody saying anything. But if you right now, if you feel what I'm saying, just say hallelujah. Amen. So as breakthrough believers, because I want to talk about it, a breakthrough believer understand that, that God wants to do a new move because there you, you have as a breakthrough believer, there's a pioneering anointing on the inside of you. In other words, you're not afraid to go in untapped territory. You're not afraid to do something you've never done before. You might be the catalyst of your family. You might be the only one in your generation, on your street, in your nation or what have you that's that's going to launch out and do what God has assigned for you to do but as a pioneer you cannot be afraid a pioneer said I'm going to spy the land a pioneer said I will go in uncharted waters and I will give God what he wants without question amen pioneers are not afraid of persecution see because you are always going to have people who's going to question your ability to move to do to act amen but you need to hear from heaven and build that structure so you can walk out and do what God has assigned you to do. I want to empower somebody today to go ahead. Somebody who's been sitting back, you, you, you took counsel with people around you who have no knowledge of what it is that God has told you to do. So now you're feeling discouraged. You're feeling you're in despair. You're, you're disappointed because you've been talking to people around you in your inner circle and God didn't give the assignment to them. He gave it to you. So it's your responsibility to go and find the knowledge that you need or go hire somebody to assist you to bring to pass what God has given you to do. Amen. So as a pioneer, you cannot be afraid of the persecution that's going to come from the people around you who don't understand what God has assigned you to do. There's a call on your life. There's a mandate on your life. You must answer your call and the mandate that God has ordained for you before the foundations of the world. Amen. The, the breakthrough believer is not afraid. See, the breakthrough believer understand that once you build a foundation of on Jesus Christ, understanding that he's the soon coming king and understand that he died on the cross, that we might have a right to eternal life. When you lay your foundation proper, amen, there's no way you can lose because the God we serve has never lost a battle. There's no defeat in him. So we need to walk in alignment with him and exercise our faith. That's right. Faith says, I'm not concerned about the timing of man, but faith says the moment God spoke it, I know he was beginning to put in motion Ocean, the promise. So I need to stay in alignment so I can receive what God has ordained and follow the instructions that he's given unto me. See, faith is not concerned about what other people think, what other people feel, or what other people believe. But faith in its rawness can be offensive to people who don't understand faith because faith said, I believe God at all costs. Faith said, I don't need an amen corner. I don't need you to witness or to accept help or validate me for what God has told me to do. Faith says, I, I, I believe God. I don't need evidence to believe what God has spoken unto me. Faith says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In other words, once God speaks it, I am established in my conviction to believe that whatever he promised me, he's going to bring it to pass. He doesn't need me, you, or anybody else to give me a confirmation on that because that's part of his will and his purpose for our lives. 
Somebody need to praise God right there. Amen. So when we talk about building structure, see a lot of us, we're trying to do things and we really don't believe. We don't have the foundation of Christ. We say we believe him, but when he tells us to do something we've never done before, we're afraid. And see, the opposite of faith is fear. When, you, when you're fearful, your faith is under attack. So now you need to exercise your faith in order for your faith to build up so you can go in the untapped territory so you can establish the structure. You need to have confidence in the God that we serve. The Bible said he sent his word and it healed it thee. In other words, whatever he sent his word to do, it's going to come back with the goods. I believe God is talking to somebody today. Somebody named Lucy. Somebody named Jackie. God is talking to you today. And I hear the Lord say, come out of the state of limbo and indecision. He done already told you. He gave you the assignment over five years ago to start your own business. What are you waiting for? The people around you, they're not going to be your amen corner because God didn't give it to them. They don't even understand what you're talking about. You've got to move out. First of all, I want to say build up your faith and then move out in the things that God has assigned for you to do. As Blake Breakthrough Believers, we, we, we have the ability to move under pressure. That's right. When, when people are persecuting you, when, when, when people uh, don't understand you, you still, as a breakthrough believer, must move out and do your kingdom assignment. Amen. You cannot be moved by man's opinion. See, what I find today is that so many people want to be seen a man. Amen. And they've lost the focus. The focus is about souls and building the kingdom of God. So God wants to reestablish the structure, amen, of how we walk, how we talk, how we live in the kingdom. He wants us to build a structure to, to increase in our walk with him, to increase in our prayer life, to increase in our word life, to increase in our fasting, to increase in our belief system, amen. In other words, the Bible said faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if your faith is under attack, then you you need to hear the word. We know what the doctors say. We know what the gang sakers say, but we need to believe God. I mean, how, why is it that so many of us, we need God, we need a confirmation on something that God has already assigned us to do. When he spoke it to you the first time, he expected you to move. Amen. So we have to be able to move as breakthrough believers under intense pressure. That's right. So in other words, when you are in a divine test of persecution where folks will say, well, I don't see that. I don't understand that. Why are you doing that? Why are you being deep? Amen. You've got to, you, you can't deal with people who are not in the same level of understanding that you are in. Amen. Because they're going to poke holes in your anointing, your mantle every time. Amen. You got to battle with explaining yourself. God doesn't need a lawyer. He's God all by himself. And once he speak it to you and tell you to move, that's what he expects us to do. See, in other words, delayed obedience is still disobedience. I believe somebody's going to build a structure on today. The word of God says, he said, upon this rock, I, build, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In other words, when we receive Jesus as the rock, amen, we have to get a revelation of understanding that God has made him preeminent over everything in the universe. The Bible said everything under the heaven, under the earth, in the earth, and above the earth. So in the spirit and the natural, everything and every entity recognize the sovereignty of God. So what's wrong with us as human beings. Amen. The Bible said he made us in his image and his likeness. Amen. So we are trichotomy. We are triune beings. We are spirit, soul, and body. Amen. So our spirit, our soul, and our body needs to be in alignment with the word of God in order for us to achieve and conquer. Amen. The enemy and achieve the kingdom uh, assignment and mandate that God has set over our lives. 
I believe somebody is going to build today. Somebody is going to make a plan today. Amen. You're going to establish something in your life that's going to be, that's going to grow and become a legacy for your children and your children's children. That's right. If you're still alive, it's not too late. As long as there's Numa, there's Zoe. Amen. In your soul, there's life. Amen. There's breath in your soul. In other words, it's not too late for you to do what God has assigned you to do. We talk about building a structure because to build a church, we have the church. Amen. I'm not talking about a, a church that's made of brick and mortar, but I'm talking about we are the lively stones. We make up the kingdom of God. So in other words, if you want to walk as a breakthrough believer and, and achieve what God has said, where you are, you are prosperous, successful, and you're able to continue Ten with, with the demons that you are confronted by. In other words, we don't look, we don't go looking for demons, but when they rise up, we slay them in the name of Jesus. So, in other words, we recognize that there's a power and there's an authority that God has given us as breakthrough believers that we have the ability to move without compromise. See, a breakthrough believer is not afraid to move, and, and we will stay the course on what God has given us to do. Hey, Amen. Sometimes God will die, downsize the camp. Amen. I want to talk to a pastor right now. Somebody, sometimes God will downsize the congregation to get rid of the naysayers, to get rid of the gossipers, to get rid of the wolves and the goats. See, a goat is somebody who, who act like they're listening, but they do the opposite of what you're telling them. Amen. That's a goat. And don't you know God want to clear the atmosphere. Amen. From the goats out of your life. Amen. We want sheep in the congregation, people who love God, who are willing to move under the uh, under the auspices of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So as a breakthrough believer, we have to move without compromise. And I said all that to say is that there are times when the enemy will come to present something before you to, to try to get you to compromise because he wants you to sell out. Amen. He wants you to quit. He wants you to compromise the assignment that God has given you but you are expect we are expected to maintain a level of integrity and truth uh, to the word of God so when we walk in integrity and we walk in truth, amen, the Bible said that the truth shall make us free. See, it's something about the truth is a voracious authority. It compels, amen. When the spirit of truth is in the atmosphere, it compels everybody around you, amen, to tell the truth, amen. It compels. Uh, in, in other words, the gift of discerning of spirit is a gift of the now. It's an on-site gift, amen. It gives you the ability to detect and 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 uh, detect and discern the nature and the character of the realm of spirits. In other words, if somebody told me, amen, that's not to give a discernment. To give a discernment, it has to be knowledge that is not ordinarily known by the natural mind, but has been revealed through the power of the Holy Ghost. It's a revelation. Amen. So some of you have got to increase in your discernment where you're seeing, hearing, and discerning in clarity. Amen. So that means you, the vessel, we must walk in truth and maintain truth in our lives at all times. Amen. And I'm not saying that we're perfect. But what I'm saying is when you know you have a weakness, when you know there's something wrong, don't fake it because God doesn't, he doesn't bless mess. Amen. So in other words, he wants us to build a structure of truth in our lives. And the way we do that is ha by having a prayer life. Amen. The hardest thing about building a prayer life is just doing it. Just you have got to activate, become a willing participant in prayer in order for your prayer life to build up. We're talking about building structure in your spiritual man, building structure in your walk with God. There are some things that you are required to do. Can't nobody, I mean, it's okay to have an intercessor to pray for you, but guess what? You need to get a prayer through for yourself. Amen. You need to know how to pray for yourself. Amen. So the breakthrough believer is able to move in progressive revelation. What I'm bringing to you today is progressive revelation because God is saying right now, he 
needs the body of Christ. He needs us as kingdom citizens to bring, to get structure in our lives so he can bless us. Amen. Why? Because there are times when God want to bless, but if things are chaotic in your life, amen, when we have, when we allow different things to go on in our life, that's not of God. How can he bless us? Amen. God want us to get things in order. He said, let all things be done decently and in order. When we talk about moving in progressive revelation, progressive revelation is present day truth. Why? Because we have a, a relationship with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to whisper in our ear gates what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking right now. That's right, right now. We don't want to be where the glory was. We want to be where the glory is. And I believe today that the glory is permeating right here oh, in this studio. Amen. And God is speaking something that's going to change the very course and nature of our lives because he's talking about establishing building structure. Amen. When we talk about structure, we have to deal with organization. That's right. We to, to arrange something in an orderly way. Amen. Why? Because God wants us. He wants to bring new things into being. He wants to bring. He wants to establish. He wants to get a want us to get an order in our mind so we can receive. Amen. What he's getting ready to do in our lives. He's talking about manifesting our dreams. Some of us need to prepare for what God is going to bring in our lives. Amen. Because the weight of the glory that God is going to release in 2016 is going to be something we've never experienced before in our lives. So we have to prepare for that. Some of us need to prepare our vessels. Amen. To carry that level of anointing. Some of us need to prepare our mind. And when we talk about preparing our mind, we need to allow God to heal our emotions, our mentality, the way we think. Some of us need to change, shift in our paradigm. In other words, words, the structure, the written and unwritten words that we have, that we live by, we need to change the standard. Amen. So we can, we can begin to expand and we can begin to excel in the things of God. Because just because your grandmama told you to do it and because other people have done it, doesn't necessarily mean that it's in alignment with the will of God. So we need to judge, amen, some of these things that we are living by to see if they're in fact are scriptorial because some of us need to change the way we think. Our thought process has got to change. We can no longer be pessimistic but we have to be optimistic. We talked about having a, a progressive mindset or a positive perspective. Amen. In our mindset to be positive says I'm thinking on the goodness. Amen. I'm looking at, amen, something the futuristic knowing that something good is going to happen something better is going to happen. That perspective says that I am in expectation for what God has promised me. Don't you know it's something about when you are in expectation, it's a, it's a level of faith that you have to come to whether you, where you're praising God regardless of whether you have it or not. Amen. You're praising God because faith, faith, a higher form of faith is praise. When we start praising God and expressing our gratitude, amen, for the things that God has promised us is letting him know, God, I believe. Lord, I trust you. I believe you. I know you're going to do what you said you're going to do. I, I've tried you. I know you. I trust you. And I'm going I'm to believe you. I'm going to praise you until it's manifested. So God wants us, amen, to begin to move under authority as break breakthrough believers. And this authority says, see, it's something about in order to be a great leader, we must understand what it means to follow. To be a great leader, we have to be, uh, we have to conquer servitude. We have to come to a place where we realize being a servant is so valuable because everything about Jesus' ministry was servant leadership. He operated in servant leadership ministry. Amen. He served. Amen. So it's some things we can learn when you get in the book of Matthews. Amen. And it teaches us how he dealt with the disciples and the apostles. Amen. When we look at Jesus' ministry, he had three phases. He had a ministry of obscurity, a private ministry, and a public ministry. And some of y'all haven't been through obscurity because you're trying to be seen and God has not insulated 
with you with his word. And God has said, I need to, I need you to establish a strong spiritual structure so I can bless you. So I can take you through the level of protocol that I have ordained to bring to pass what I promised your bloodline. What I promised you five years ago. What I promised you ten years ago. What I spoke to you at the beginning of the year. I will bring it to pass if you are obedient to the instructions. I hear the Lord right now. So when, as breakthrough believers, when we move under authority. We understand that authority and we know how to function under delegated authority. Amen. See, because one day you're going to lead something. And see, and if you don't know how to follow, when it's your turn to lead, folks won't want to follow you. Amen. Because the Bible said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whatever you sow, it's going to come up, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So why don't you sow good seeds? Amen. So when it's your turn, because the Bible says a time and a chance happened to us all. Your turn is coming. So you want to have a positive perspective in your leadership and you want to yield a positive harvest in your leadership. Amen. And the last thing I want to say about breakthrough believers is that we move to impact nations. That's right. So even to those who are listening in over 40 nations right now, we just honor, we honor the Lord, amen, for drawing you to listen to this broadcast that you may receive what you need, amen. So whatever's going on around you, God is saying take authority over your atmosphere and begin to build a structure that is conducive, amen, for, for, for the Lord to come in, amen, and saturate the atmosphere to do what he wants to do, amen, in your reason. Region, in your country, in your state, in your city, in your town. I believe, God, that today somebody is going to build. Today somebody is going to restructure. Today somebody is going to organize. Amen. You're going to arrange what you've been doing in an orderly way. We can start, amen, in our closets. We can start, amen, with our finances. We can start with our families. Amen. We can start in our homes. We can start in our churches. We can start on a job. We can start with our desk. Amen. Bringing order. Amen. In our lives. Building and establishing something new. See, because God want to do something he's never done in your life before. But we've got to make room. Amen. For this new move that God is bringing in this region. I want you to know that there are people who are praying on the wall who haven't come down from the prayer wall and they're hearing what the spirit of the Lord is speaking to the kingdom what he's speaking to the church and God is saying there's a new move that's coming through Michigan that's going to set an order that's going to change amen what we've been seeing in our school in our school system what we've been seeing in our economic system amen what we've been seeing in our water supply amen don't you know exposure What's been going on has, is being exposed, amen, and confronted so there can be change. So God is changing, amen, the way business is done in the state of Michigan. That's right. God is changing the way we do mi business in the state of Michigan. God is going to visit, amen, the House of Representatives. God is going to visit the House of Sentence, sent the se House of Senate. Amen. God is going to visit the church leaders. Amen. God is going to visit the hospital leaders. Amen. The spirit of God is going to permeate. Amen. Down Woodward. The spirit of God is going to permeate down Michigan. The spirit of God is going to permeate down Grand River. That's right. The spirit of God is going to permeate on the main streets of your city, your country, whatever state you're living in. I want you to know the presence of the Lord is, is moving right now. And he He's going to establish a new structure in our cities, in our states. That's right. We can no longer do business like we've been doing it in the past. And God is changing the guards. He's changing the order in our cities. He's changing the order in our states. He's changing the order in this country. And he's going to develop and create new programs. Amen. That will cause family restoration. He's going to win souls into the kingdom. He's going to take the homelessness and decrease the homelessness in our cities. 
bodies, amen, and those, Lord, those who have been wounded and hurt, amen, through, because of war, amen, God is going to create new programs that will help families, amen, and when, when, there, when there's no help, where there's been no, where there's been lack, where there's been shortage, where there's been debt and insufficiency, I want you to know that the Spirit of God has not forgotten about you, there's somebody listening today, your name is Pat, Patricia, amen, and God is sending help your way. I hear the Lord saying that he's going to open up the two-leaf gates, and you're going to begin to walk in the Cyrus anointing. That's right, where you're going to take the land, and what you thought, what you didn't know that was there for you is there. And I see God releasing a, a bloodline blessing. I see some property being released to you, amen. And the property is not that you can handle the property, but the property is in your bloodline. Line, and you're going to sell it That's going to bring money Amen Put money in your hands And I hear the Lord saying That there's a changing of God's And he's creating new avenues of wealth For his people That's right He's creating new avenues of wealth For his people So people of God I want you to keep your ears open Because God is going to give you new ideas Amen That can yield a harvest in your life That's what bringing structure Building structure Or Organizing, establishing, amen, what it would do when we plan. When we when we plan, we create a way. We provide a way for the Holy Spirit to come in and give us the promises that God has promised us. I'm going to say it again. It's time for us to build structure. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Don't you know when we do things God's way, there's no way we can be defeated. That's right. There's no way the enemy can handle us. Amen. When we do things God's way, there's no way that the enemy can handle us. Amen. We will not walk in defeat nor the spirit of failure when we follow the instructions of the Lord. And I believe today somebody is going to follow the instructions of God. There's a new passion, a new hunger. That God is releasing unto his people that will cause us to reacquaint ourselves with the word of God. To reacquaint ourselves with prayer. So in other words, if, you, if the enemy has been bombarding you and distracting you from your prayer life, it's time now for you to begin again. To start again. To begin to pray. Amen. To commune with the Father. Amen. To commune. Amen. To talk to him. Amen. So you can get the instructions that you need amen, to complete the assignment that's upon your life. I believe today that somebody is going to build structure. You're going to establish. Amen. You're going to put together in an or orderly way. Amen. You're going to compose the interrelated parts that you need to establish your business that will bring wealth into the kingdom of God. Don't you know it's not God's intention for us to live in lack, shortage, debt, or insufficiency. That God has ordained for us to come to a new level of understanding. Amen. A new level of peace. Amen. It's something about having your bills paid where you can praise God even more when you know, amen, that you've done everything you're supposed to do when you walk in righteous alignment with the Lord, amen, that you can yield a harvest, not just one way, but multiple streams of income. God is calling for us pe his people to take back the land. He said he's given us the authority to cause heaven's government to the earth realm. In other words, we are who God want to use. We, want, we are the meat for the master's use. We are the people that God want to use to declare and decree his will in the earth realm. No longer can we be held back. No longer can we be stopped, blocked, or hindered from the things that God ordained for us to do. But it's time now for us to come to a new level of understanding that we may receive the promises of God. Amen. That we may, that we may find favor with God and favor with man. Amen. When we walk in righteous alignment, God I want us to be empowered by the Holy Spirit that there is a passion that will fall upon us that we can complete every assignment when we begin to build structure in our lives we need structure in the things that we eat we need structure in how we raise our children we need structure in our spiritual walk with God we need structure amen in what we do when we're getting ready for our 
our workplace. We need structure to study. Amen. To show ourselves approved unto God. A workman uh, not needed not being ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. I believe today there's somebody who has received that impartation of structure on today. And where you couldn't hear God concerning instruction. Concerning your business. Concerning your marriage. Concerning your finances. Concerning your body. You're going to begin to hear God as you walk in righteous alignment and you establish the structure that God has ordained for you. That's right. He said, upon this rock, I shall build my church and no gates in hell shall prevail against it. It's something about walking in the authority that God has given us as breakthrough believers. Don't you know the breakers anointing is upon you that you can break through new realms and dimensions that is before you. That's right. That when we walk in alignment with God, we have the authority to shut down demonic kingdoms that we can speak to a situation and we can bind the hand of the enemy. He said, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. That God has given us the keys to the kingdom. Amen. The kings of heaven. Amen. To bind and to loose. I believe today if you start binding some things and start loosing the promises of God that you're going to yield a harvest. You're going to have joy, peace, love, happiness. New souls are going to be one. Family members are going to come and worship with you. Amen. That as you begin to follow the instructions of the Lord through building structure in your life, reestablishing an order in your life. Some of us, we, we don't want to take orders. Some of us, we, we have problems with authority. Amen. We have problems. We rebel. Amen. But God is saying, in order to be a great leader, we got to understand the ministry of servitude. We got to understand what it means to follow. Amen. Everything about Jesus' leadership was a servant. He was a servant leader. Amen. He was a servant leader. He shared his love through servitude. The Bible tells us that the love of God is shared abroad by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. In other words, God want to demonstrate his power through our love. Love is an action word. God want to demonstrate, amen, his glory in the earth realm. But he needs somebody who will build a structure, somebody who will organize their time. Don't you know, aren't you sick and tired of wasters of time? Where there are blood suckers that come to zap your time. Amen. You got to get a schedule. You got to get an order. God is telling us time for order. Amen. Because he's going to manifest the promises that he promises. In 2016, he said he's manifesting dreams. And if you believe that today, today receive heart and not your heart to the word of the Lord on today. But build a structure in every area of your life so you can yield a harvest. That's right. I want to have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now. We thank you for the kingdom of God. We thank you for the body of Christ. We thank you for those who are listening on today. God, we thank you for bringing in, Lord God, a new order, a new mandate for building structure in our homes, structure on the job, structure, Lord God, with our families and raising our children, structure in our economic system. We thank you now, structure in the way we worship you, God, structure in our churches. God, we thank you now that when we take care of kingdom business, there will be a order in our life that you may bring in, Lord God, the promises that you promised us. Teach us how, Lord God, to come in alignment with your word. Teach us how to exercise faith, to launch out in the deep, that we will receive, Lord God, what you have already ordained from for us, the people of God. We take authority over every rebellious spirit, every spirit of chaos, us, every spirit of confusion, every spirit of indecision, we rebuke it, we bind it now, we shut it down, we dismantle every deaf, dumb spirit, every spirit of Leviathan, every mind binding, mind blinding spirit, every spirit of mental anguish that will stop, block, and hinder us from receiving the rhema word of the Lord on today. We bind every octopus spirit that will come to try to cover the mind. We bind the spirit of witchcraft that will cause the demise 
by saying, keep zapping and taking from us. We rebuke every spirit, Lord God, of control. We bind the controlling powers, every Jezebelic spirit and Ahab spirit in the name of Jesus. We take authority over the atmosphere. From this day forward, we thank you, Lord God, that you've given us a mind to build, a mind to establish structure, a mind to establish order. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. Have your way, God. We thank you even, Lord God, in the nations. Lord God, that you build a new water supply. Lord God, new wells. We thank you, Lord God, that you teaching the, the people in the nations on how, Lord God, to build their own business. Lord God, as well as in America. Lord God, that we, Lord God, will begin to exercise, Lord God, the giftings that you've given unto us. We thank you for a new passion. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for a positive perspective in believing. We thank you for the resurrection anointing. When we thought that thing was dead, well, we thought it was dry. We thought that idea was dead. We thought it was dry. Lord God, we speak to the resurrection, the resurrection anointing, even on today, even to the sick and the shedding in. In the day, on today, Lord God, we thank you. We rebuke the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. And we take authority over the atmosphere and we thank Thank you, Lord God, for building structure, structure for kingdom ministries. We thank you now, God, Lord God, for a mind of understanding. You say in all thy getting to get an understanding. We thank you for an anointing of understanding. Lord God, you said wisdom is the principal thing. Give us the wisdom that we need, God. And we just thank you right now. We rebuke the spirit of fear that will try to interfere and intercept. Lord God, whatever you have ordained for us, we bind it out right now. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Lord God, for the harvest being released. I hear the Lord saying seven days. Seven days. This time next week, some of you will have testimonies of how you came in alignment with the order. And God began to pour out and release the promises. That's right. There's a divine release that God is releasing from the heavens to his people in the earth realm. And I believe God today that some of you are going to be obedient and you're going to begin to establish structure in your homes, in your, on your jobs, uh, in your families, in your marriages, in your ministries, in, in, with your finances. And we're going to see the testimonies of God and how God is going to move effectively, efficiently, efficiently through you in the spirit of excellence because you did not hearken your heart on today. I just want to thank God. Amen. For all of you who have listened today and you just begin to worship and praise the Lord. Amen. For reestablishing Lord God that structure and building that new level of confidence within you because you are obedient to the Lord. I tell you it's, it's nothing like obeying God. It brings a confidence. It, it places a divine parameter around everything who we are and everything that we have we own. Amen. That when we walk in alignment with God, he covers us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And we give him the praise, the honor, and the glory for that in Jesus' name. I want to say to invite you all out. Those of you who are listening to Worldwide Prophetic Kingdom Ministries, we're located in the city of Lincoln Park. That's 1911 Horgan Street. In the city of Lincoln Park, 48146. We sit at the corner of Southfield and Dix behind the Wendy's and the Chicken Shack. That's right. Those are the landmarks. And so if you need, if you need a word from the Lord, if you're sick and tired of having, uh, just doing mundane church, we're not a religious church. We are apostolic governing territorial kingdom church. Amen. And we minister to the total man, spirit, soul, and body. We have ministry for our children, amen, young people. We even have Love on Fire Ministries for the married people who will be meeting, we will be meeting the third Friday, amen, of every month, Love on Fire Ministries, amen. It's a marriage enrichment course and strengthening relationships, amen. So whether you're single or married, you need to come out at 7 p.m., amen, to our Love on Fire Ministry. Also, this Sunday, our missionary department will be going 
forth. Amen. We do have foreign missions. Amen. In our church. Amen. And we want to uh, love on Dr. Bonds Ford. Amen. Who's one of our pastors. Amen. Who have traveled over in the nations. Amen. Who's she's at home resting. And we just want you to know we love you, Dr. Bonds Ford. Amen. And we thank God for you for representing but the kingdom and WPKM as you go out into the nations. And also some missionary dogs will be spearheading our missionary program this Sunday at 4 p.m. So, of course, we have our Sunday school and we have our morning worship at 11 a.m. But at 4 p.m., uh, our missionary department will be going forth and it's at, at, and I believe the theme is don't take it back. The battle is the Lord's. That's right. And so one of our very own prophetess will be going forth. Prophetess Rashonda Florence will be going forth at 4 p.m. this Sunday. And we are excited. I am so excited because it's just an honor to have raised up sons and daughters who can minister the word of the Lord. And you don't have to be concerned about what they're going to say. Amen. Because they understand the, the word of God and they operate through the mind of the Holy Ghost. And we're not great leaders until we done trained and taught some else. And I can say today that we have some anointed leaders in the house, amen, who can prophesy, who can preach and teach the word of God. We have some dynamic intercessors in our youth ministry under uh, Pastor Youth Pastor Rudy Lewis Jr. We are excited, amen, and we want them to be encouraged, our ministers, our elders, to continue to go forth. And there are some of you who are sitting in churches and you have gifts, and you're going to be held accountable for your gifts gifts for not using them. Amen. If you want to exercise your gift, the Bible tells us that our gifts shall make room for us. And so you need to come out. Amen. So you can be empowered and trained. We thank God for new revelations, church and Cyrene church. Amen. Cyrene temple under the, the auspices of pastors of uh, Pastor Brandon Taylor and Juella Taylor and New Revelation Church, Pastor uh, Harold Taylor and Latanya Taylor, Prophetess Latanya Taylor. We thank God. Amen. We had an awesome time with our liquid fire sharing with them. Amen. Our liquid fire worship kingdom conference and God showed up and showed out. Amen. And if, and if you missed that conference, you can watch it on YouTube or you can see it on our Facebook page, Worldwide Prophetic Kingdom Ministries. You can also see it at W pkministries.org amen and and those of you who are interested in our books uh look up our website and you can order some books amen our latest book is searching for god through intimacy you want a closer relationship with god you need to you need to order that book god bless you on today we thank god and we speak healing blessings and deliverance in the mighty name of jesus amen Thank you to all my sponsors and Worldwide Prophetic Kingdom Ministries. You can catch Kingdom Vision archives at worshipcenterradio.net and click on Kingdom Vision. Come out to Worldwide Prophetic Kingdom Ministries at 1911 Horger Street. We're located in the city of Lincoln Park, Michigan, 48146. Our Sunday school is 9.30 a.m. And morning worship is 11 a.m. Thanks again for listening. God's willing, see you next week.